Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to uh, my video of how to hold a street sale. Now, you can hold street sales when you live in the city or anywhere, but you can also hold a street sale when you happen to in your own neighborhood. You can hold a yard sale by dragging the art gallery and placing it. If I can find it, he has a very full inventory. There it is. You can just drag it and put it here in the world. Or in the yard. You can't drag it into the world. That's the thing. You can drag it and have a yard sale in your yard. But if you want to hold it in the world, you need to have them go off the property and then say place in world. So I hopefully I have had him walk far enough off the property that it will actually place. And, and since I can't drag it, that would strike me. It's not a very nice position, but I can't really help it. So now what you need to do is you need to view the inventory. Now, I had left some things in here, so there still are some items in here. And one, there's two ways of putting things in the inventory. I can get something that I can put in. You can't put the pictures that you get from the observatory there. The only thing I've been able to sell so far, it couldn't sell photographs, they don't seem to sell on there, are actual paintings. So one way to do it, I'm just going to look at the value. You can also try and pick the more valuable items is you can drag it to the art gallery or the wall as I tend to call it a lot and you'll see it put it into the inventory here and the other way is just to drag it directly into the inventory item which it seems to be lagging a bit on me and not responding let me try and see if I hit the escape button if that'll work no not really <laughs> it still has the little there now it, it took one so now what he needs to do because he went in to clean is he needs to stock the table because we viewed the inventory and we see that there are items in the inventory so to get them from this inventory you have to stock the table and we'll wait for him to come back let's speed up a little bit and hopefully he gets here quickly there we go so now he's stocked the table. Now if you had wanted to figure out, you know, put what you wanted on there, you would only put the items in the street gallery inventory that you want to go on the wall. Because if you have more things than will fit, as you can see has happened here, because we have two more things still here, it'll just randomly place what it wants on the wall, or as I call it, or the art gallery. So now that we have the items on the art gallery, you see that there's various options and we still can view the inventory because we can still see it. You could clear the table which would put it back into your street gallery inventory. Actually I think if you clear the table yeah I think that's what happens. So now what you need to do to hold a street sale the next option is to tend the table. So you're going to tend the table. It's pretty complicated. And then you can mark up the prices. I have it at 200%, so you either have no markup all the way up to 300%, and then you're going to start a street sale. Now, if this had been on the property, it would be a yard sale. And now, the reason I prefer to do street sales over yard sales is that if you do a yard sale, then you're inviting people to your property, which means that they can come and use everything on your property. You can keep them out of your house by locking the door. Hi. <coughs> excuse me, happen to have a club going on, club gathering for this family. So you can have it, you can lock the door for the club, everyone but the collector's club members. And then you can then allow access. We'll just do this just for fun right now. And then you can allow access to, you know, the butler if you have one. The sim there is not actually a butler. He's in the house. I just made him my butler, but he's controlled. And employees now so if I had this sale during the day I do have a gardener for this house and a maid so I would want to allow access to them and if you have a butler you'd probably want to allow access to them now you have to make sure that you lock all your doors to your house because just locking one door won't work so I'm gonna unlock it because I'm not actually holding a yard sale because if you look I also have a back door here and because this particular house I'm doing a challenge where you're trying to collect all the collectibles in the game and you're supposed to build a museum this is my start of my my rectangular museum I would want to lock that because if I had someone come who was a kleptomaniac they may steal some of my collectibles you never know I don't really know what kleptomaniacs steal so we'll chat with the sims that are here and try and keep it pleasant and there's Zach looks like he has to go to the bathroom while he's eating some ice cream. He's not doing a very good job of looking after himself. But, um, 
So that's really how it works. We, you know, and I have a 200% markup, and I find sometimes the higher the markup, the longer it takes for people to start buying, but then I find they just continue to buy. It's sort of, I think, a ra there's a random element to it as to how much they will buy and how frequently. But I think the, the lower the markup, the quicker it is to sell things on here. Now, so the difference between a street sale and a yard sale is a yard sale is on a property and a street sale is out in the world that you can't place things on. So if you were to, say, go to any of the parks and you were to hold it on the actual part, it would be considered a yard sale, but then you wouldn't have to worry about people. Looks like he dropped his ice cream. <laughs> Seemed a bit strange. Uh, you probably should go to the bathroom. Hopefully that will auto solve properly. And, um, so that's what I'm saying. So even though it's not on your property, it would still be considered a yard sale if you did it like at a park or any of the public lots that if there was room to put the uh, art gallery and you hold it, held a sale or even the table. The table has a lot more things you can sell on it than the art gallery because when you look, you'll see there's like wooden structures. Oh, someone bought a painting. And there's collectibles, and like I've seen the voodoo doll for sale, and toys. So there's a lot more things it seems that you can sell on the little table, which we do have one of those too. But I'm on the wrong sim. But I think you may have noticed it when I was scrolling by, but it was only if you were looking. And it would work the same way that uh, it would be a street sale if you placed it in the world, and a yard sale if you placed it on your yard. Let me see. I'm looking. I did see it as I scrolled. There it is. There's the table. But I don't actually want to use it. Pictures are obviously a really good way of making money. Though if you have outdoor retreat and you have handiness skill, I believe it's seven or higher, you can go to Granite Falls and learn the schematic for the big wooden bear structure in the middle. And if you have, if you craft that, and particularly if you have the marketable trait, which is one of the traits you can buy for 1,500 aspiration points, they can be worth anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000. So I'd say they're pretty close to, you know, reasonable paintings. In terms of the value, you can make quite a lot of money off of those too, if that's your goal. So there, we sold another painting. So our street sale is almost over. And so obviously our 200% markup is, is going very well for us. I wonder if that's actually no it is a painting I was like looked at that painting there and thought it didn't look like it was completed but it is because it says it's a masterpiece so the street sales ended and if you had wanted to end it I'll just start the street sale again you can just go like this and end it early just like any event and so we are going to clear the table because but first we need I, I always forget this you have to stop you have to cancel the tending the table interaction and then you need to have them, and now he's walking off somewhere else, and you need to have him clear the table. Hopefully he'll come back soon to clear the table. I don't know where he's gone. Let me speed through this. There he's back. So they go back behind, and then you could leave this out on here for having another street sale another day, but for, I'm just going to have him put it in his inventory because I don't particularly like the way that he's placed it in the world anyways. So there we go, and that's how you hold a street sale. And like I said, it's very similar. A yard sale just would be that you could have them place it out, but you can actually place it in the yard of your property or any other lot. But as long as it's a lot that you can edit, then it would be considered a yard sale. And if it's like the public space, then it's considered a street sale. And the benefit of not having it on your private property is that you don't open up your world, your, your lot to the people coming to the street sale. But if you do want to have a yard sale, I'd recommend locking the house because they do come in, they eat your food, they use your computer, they watch your TV, they break things, kind of thing. And if they're a kleptomaniac, they could also steal things. But that's really it for this part. This, this is just, like I said, it was a simple one. I know when I tried to use the art gallery, I couldn't figure out how it worked. It took me a little while, so I thought I would maybe do a video just to show how it works because it's a, a little bit... Um, there's a number of steps that you need to do to get it to get to the point where you can start the sale, but 
that's really it for how to hold a street sale or a yard sale for that matter. If you have any other ideas of something you might like me to explain how you do, let me know in the comments down below. I have logged quite a few hours in this game and uh, I love exploring new things, especially how they can make money and whatnot. Uh, as always, thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye! If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks very much.